Self-Help Justice, Understanding the Concept. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating and complex phrase, self-help justice. This term might sound a bit complicated, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how it's used. Let's dive in. Self-help justice is a compound noun, a type of noun that is made up of two or more words. Let's break it down, self-help. This part refers to taking action oneself, rather than relying on others or on formal systems. It's about individuals taking matters into their own hands. Justice. This is a broad term that generally means fairness or the administration of what is just and right. When combined, self-help justice refers to a situation where an individual or a group takes action to achieve what they consider to be fair or right, without relying on formal legal or authoritative processes. The concept of self-help justice is often used in legal and social contexts. It can be seen as 1. Positive. When people use their own resources to resolve disputes or achieve fairness, especially in situations where the legal system is inaccessible or ineffective. 2. Negative. It can also be controversial, as it might involve actions that are outside the legal framework, sometimes leading to ethical or legal dilemmas. Understanding the context in which the term is used is crucial for grasping its full meaning. Let's look at some examples. Positive example, a community coming together to create a neighborhood watch program in response to increased local crime because they feel the police response is inadequate. Negative example, a person taking revenge on someone who wronged them because they believe the legal system won't punish that person appropriately. These examples show how self-help justice can be interpreted differently depending on the circumstances. Self-help justice is a nuanced phrase that reflects the complexity of taking action independently to achieve fairness. Whether it's seen in a positive or negative light depends on the context and the actions taken. We hope this video has helped clarify this interesting term for you. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.